Hi folks, we're out here in the mushroom yard. Uh, this is where these logs that we've just inoculated and sealed with cheese wax are gonna spend the next year of their life. This spot is secluded. I've got it so it is under a cedar tree right here. Uh, it's gonna intercept a lot of the, the direct sunlight. On one side is a cedar tree, on the other side is a full grown mulberry whose canopy hangs out over. So I'm gonna have shade throughout the hottest part of the summer here. It's also really close to a water source. There's an artesian well just about 20, 25 feet away. I can make sure that these logs stay hydrated. And so if we don't get at least an inch of rain a week, I'm gonna to go to that artesian well, dip a couple five gallon buckets full out of it, water these logs down. Now you can see uh, I've, I've kept the first line of logs up off the ground. So I put two logs that were not inoculated with mushrooms down and that's what makes contact with the ground, all right? And I've then laid five or six logs in one direction, five or six logs in the opposite direction and what I'm doing is I'm just stacking these logs uh, one row on top of each other. They're going to spend a year like this. I do this mainly to make the watering more efficient. You know water will run off and drip down onto the logs below but what what it's also going to do is it's not taking up a lot of space so I, I have a lot of, of room for other projects. It makes watering more efficient and then as I, as I go through the year, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that this is protected in the winter time. And uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put a, a loose fitting tarp over top of this. Um, well after any chance of, of that, that uh, day length or, or te daytime temperature getting too warm. I don't want these to warm up too early. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm just hedging my bets with a tarp that'll keep the, the desiccation down in the winter time. It'll keep the wind from, from uh, really drying these logs out. You'll notice on these logs, I have not painted the ends of them with wax. I want those ends to be open so that I can manipulate those logs when in the spring after they stop fruiting, if I wanna force them to fruit with more mushrooms, sticking them in a tank, it'll allow the water to go into the ends of the log and then move through that log. So right now I, I have a really nice stack of logs going here. Um, they're gonna sit here for a full year. Next spring I'm gonna come out and uh, you're gonna see a, a companion clip next spring um, and how I stack those logs and, and prepare for the fruiting event that will happen in the spring as our day length and our temperatures warm up. So come on back, like and subscribe to our ISU Forestry Extension YouTube channel. That helps us out and uh, you'll see as we put new videos online. Thanks folks.